Okay, for this question, we are going to find dy, the differential of y, that's the first part. And then secondly, after we have a formula for dy, we are going to plug in x is equal to 1, and dx is equal to negative 0 0.1. Here is the equation, y is equal to square root of 3 plus x squared. So let's get to work. Take our derivative first. So dy is equal to the derivative of square root of something is going to be 1 over 2 times square root of the same thing inside. So this becomes 1 over 2 square root of 3 plus x squared. But then we have to look into the uh, square root. Because of the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative inside. The derivative of 3 is 0. The derivative of x squared is 2x. So we multiply by 2x. And in this case, we are talking about differential. So dy is equal to the derivative times dx at the end. And perhaps we can do some simplification, which is we can cancel these two and that two. And we can put things nicely. So the first part, dy is equal to dx goes on the top. Over, this is our denominator, 3 plus x squared, and we multiply by dx. That's dy. And the second part is, we are going to evaluate dy. dy is going to be a number. When you plug in x is equal to 1, and dx is equal to negative 0.1. So let's go ahead and do our work. So this right here, I just write the note right here. x is equal to 1, and dx is equal to negative 0 0.1. So plugging 1 to the top, that will give us dy equals to 1 on the top, over on the bottom is square root of 3 plus 1 squared. And we still have to multiply by dx. So you multiply by dx, which is negative 0 0.1. And at this uh, stage right here, you can just use the calculator, and the answer after you do the computation, this is going to be dy equals to negative 0 0.05. Use the calculator for this part. But this is the volume for dy, and this is an expression for dy. And that's it.